Hi everyone, welcome back to Brit in Germany. A few of you asked me to tell you some English tongue twisters. So I've dug out my big book of tongue twisters and I'm going to tell you some today and try to say some myself. The quiz question this week is about geography. Da -da -da. Hands up if you're good at geography. Germany shares its border with quite a few countries. And today's question is, which one of those countries has the shortest border with Germany? Is it A, Luxembourg? Is it B, Denmark? Or is it C, Belgium? And the answer is coming up at the end of the video. So stay tuned if you want to find out. <laughs> and now, the big book of tongue twisters. Yikes. <laughs> These tongue twisters are really good for practicing your pronunciation of English. Pretty posh pronunciation. Saying tongue twisters over and over and over and over. Saying tongue twisters over and over and over again can be difficult at first, but it's all about having fun and improving your pronunciation. Don't worry if you can't get it the first time, just keep practicing and eventually you will be able to say it. So let's fire away. <laughs> A tongue twister I've known since my childhood is she sells seashells by the seashore. And I still think that's the most difficult to say fast. I shall now try and say it fast. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. You see, it is difficult for me to say. <laughs> of course, reading it is easier. She sells seashells by the seashore. I said she, she sure. <laughs> Tongue twisters don't have to be long. They can be really short as well. For example, this one. Red lorry, yellow lorry. When you say that over and over again, you end up saying something completely different. Red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry. You end up saying red lolly, yellow lolly. Red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry. It's difficult. Oh yes, it's not red truck, yellow truck, red truck, yellow truck. <laughs> That's too easy. <laughs> Another one to say over and over again is she sees cheese. <laughs> She sees cheese, she sees cheese, she sees cheese, she sees cheese, she sees cheese. <laughs> that one's hard. <laughs> See she's cheese. After a while, that doesn't sound like English anymore. It sounds like a whole different language. Thin sticks, thick bricks. Thin sticks, thick bricks, 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 thin sticks, thick bricks. Oh, I did quite well. Oh, what about this one? 11 elves licked 11 little licorice lollipops. I'll say it again. <laughs> 11 elves licked 11 little licorice lollipops. <laughs> that one's really good to practice your English speaking. Oh, I'm having trouble saying words today. <laughs> the next one isn't really a tongue twister, but it's good for practicing your ha words, your ha, huh, your h words. It's from My Fair Lady, and it goes like this. In Hartford, Hedyford, and Hampshire, hurricanes hardly ever happen. The hard words there would be Hartford, Hereford, and Hampshire. If you can say that fast and in the right pronunciation, you're doing really well. Another short one to say over and over again is Irish wristwatch. I think the hard part there is the Irish and the wrist. Irish wristwatch, Irish wristwatch. Irish wristwatch, Irish wristwatch. No. <laughs> Irish wristwatch. Irish wristwatch? Hmm. <laughs> if you can say that three times fast, I'll give you a trophy. Betty Potter bought a bit of butter, but the butter Betty Potter bought was a bit bitter. There is a long version of that one. Betty Potter bought some butter, but she said the butter's bitter. If I put it in my batter, it will make my batter bitter, but a bit of better butter will make my batter better. So twas better Betty Potter bought a bit of better butter. It's even better if you can memorize that one and say it without looking at it. If you can do that, I'll give you another trophy. A tricky frisky snake with 60 super scaly stripes. That's quite easy. How can a clam cram in a clean cream can? How can a clam cram in a clean cream can? How can a clam cram? No, how can a clam cram in a cream clean can? Whew, moving on. Oh, this one's good. Though I thought of thanking you, I only thought of thanking you in my thoughts. I think that one could be hard to say if you're not a native English speaker because it's got the th in it, the th, 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 th. It's a good one to practice your thuz. <laughs> Though I thought of thanking you, I thought of thanking you only in my thoughts. The advanced version of this one goes like this. I thought a thought, but the thought I thought wasn't the thought I thought I thought. If the thought I thought I thought had been the thought I thought, I wouldn't have thought so much. 
That's the advanced version. <laughs> another, fun, another fun one. Another fun one is this one. A proper cup of coffee from a copper coffee pot. A proper cup of coffee from a coffer... Coffer? A proper cup of coffee from a copper coffee pot. Ah, I said it. One was a racehorse, two was one two. When one won one race, two won one two. Yeah, that's a really hard one actually. <laughs> when one won a race, two won one two. Yeah, no, when one won one race. Finally, my favorite one of all time, Peter Piper. I love Peter Piper. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, Where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? That's my favorite one. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you everybody. I'm gonna put all of these in the description box so you can practice yourselves with the tongue twisters. There are many more tongue twisters in this big book here. Unfortunately, there's no time in this video for today. So we're going to end it there and we're gonna do the quiz answer now. Mm, 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 mm. The answer is Denmark. Well done if you guessed correctly. I didn't know that one, I have to say. For those who said Luxembourg, I can reveal it's the second shortest. Guess what? It's summertime. That means it's holiday time and I'm gonna be in England for two weeks. Yes! That means there'll be a few England themed videos coming up. Next week is another guess the film video. <laughs> so get your popcorn ready, guys. Yes, I'm gonna be guessing your film suggestions. So until then, take care and alles Gute. Tschüss!